What's up, everybody? Reaction time. Valveteen Dream Ricochet. I'm hyped for it. It's going to be awesome as hell. It's going to be off the hook. Both of these guys, insanely talented. Valveteen Dream out first. Valveteen Dream doing this. Hogan trying to channel Hogan. Has Boas on. Has red and yellow feather Boas. Like Hogan, like he's paying respect to Hogan. He even has a red bandana, yellow shirt on, with the rips in the back, like Hogan would cut holes in the back. One superstar is going to take a step forward here tonight. And you look at that outfit as well. Dream Mania running wild. Yeah. Rips his shirt like Hogan. Both these superstars very active on social media. We've seen John Cena actually talk about Velveteen Dream as the future of NXT of the WWE. We had quite the endorsement. I have to agree with him. We've seen Velveteen Dream time and time again. Great to have three corners. Did this. People, please don't try to comment and say, oh, Velveteen was told to do that. He was told to do that so they can bring Hogan back. That's not why he did it. He did that because he's a fan of Hogan. I guarantee you, Velveteen Dream was a fan of Hogan. I heard him in interviews say when he was on Tough Enough, Hogan pulled him aside and talked to him. And said, I know you're going to be a big star in this business. Stuff like that. So, I believe Velveteen, Drew, D Velveteen Dream doing this tribute. Now he's doing Hogan's posing. Velveteen doing all this is his idea. He was not told by the company to do this. Here comes the one and only. This match could be match of the year in NXT. I say that a lot tonight. Champa Gargano. That could be match of the year too for 2018 in NXT. I think uh, Velveteen Dream got the bigger reaction. Talk about the 
as Ricochet and Velveteen Dream looking to electrify the crowd here at TakeOver in Chicago tonight. Great build up. They're both staring at each other. Take a look at the way Velveteen Dream's getting in the ring here, taking all the time. He's going to do it at his own pace. Think he's being cautious? That's going to be your night. Not Either one. one. It's mind games. Both superstars have locked eyes. And now meet face to face. Here we go. Velveteen chance. No ricochet chance yet. I like ricochet. The guy's one of a kind talent. One of a kind athlete. We'll never see another ricochet. We'll never see another Velveteen dream. And they meet up. Lock up. To start it off with a lock up. Well, I'd have to say you've given an advantage to... Ricochet, but that's with these Ricky two guys the could be main eventing WrestleMania for the next 10 15 years. Both these guys should be main eventers on the main roster when they go to the main roster. Looks like it thus far, doesn't it? Sucks that you know, no Mauro Ronaldo to call this because that guy is, is such great passion. And Mauro calling this would make it better. But Mauro has other commitments. He's doing Showtime boxing. He's trying to get Velveteen Dream frustrated early. That's the thing about Ricochet. He really is one of the best high flyers in the business today. But it's not just that. It's his ability to do it at the right time and not make mistakes. You take a look at Ricochet, Nigel. You know, again, a lot of people talk about Ricochet's amazing athletic ability, but you could also argue, argue he's technically sound in the ring. There's no argument to be made. It's over to the Here fall, first of matchup. I think the big umbrage that Velveteen Dream had was the name that Ricochet had for himself before he came to NXT and perhaps the opportunities he got because of it. Wonder if uh, Shawn Michaels produced this match. Interesting then it's going to be great. Uh, it'd be great anyway. Because Velveteen and Ricochet are great. People believe that Velveteen Dream is the future of this business. What say you? I mean, he very well may be. He has all the tools. I mean, he's as physical as they come. He looks great. And the guy can move. He can put in the work in the ring. He's got a ton of charisma. Oh! Showcasing the power game. Is Velveteen Dream. Well, probably the most important thing, Percy, is that Velveteen Dream believes in himself. You can't put a price on that. Absolutely not. A very dangerous man. Would you believe in himself at all? Oh, oh. Velveteen try to head scissors. Ricochet flipped over on his feet. But he didn't take Ricochet off his feet. From the Velveteen Dream, I mean. Whoa. Coming in, pace starting to quicken, which is right where Ricochet's going to want in this matchup the pace to be. Oh, oh. My God. It's back and forth. Ricochet doing flips. And they're both staring at each other. Ricochet may have the best balance of anyone in NXT. He is like a world-class parkour competitor. Slap by Ricochet in a roll up. Quick go behind the size of Double Team Dream and Ricochet. Another flip by Ricochet into head scissors and they kip up in the drop kick. And the momentum starting to sway in the favor of Ricochet here in the early going. Uh, if you learn one thing from those slaps is that Ricochet will not let Velveteen Dream get in his head. Ooh. Right hand 
And now Ricochet. Look at it. Take to the air and Velveteen that was nasty. Nasty fall. Ricochet he tried to springboard off the top. Velveteen pushed the ropes. He fell on his neck on the top rope. Fell to the floor. He's got like serious whiplash. And then he fell to the floor. You don't want to make a lot of mistakes when you're taking on someone like Velveteen Dream. Do you not look at the aggression now of Dream in the corner? Velveteen taking over. Stomping away. Stomping a mud hole. And ricochet. Again, his state of oh, anything ricochet Punches. Do, kicks. Knees to ricochet in the corner. We saw earlier Dream talking about being blessed. One thing he was blessed with is perhaps the biggest ego of anyone in NXT. His ego will only get bigger if he's able to put away Ricochet here tonight. And Dream hoisting and dropping Ricochet over the top rope. Of a team Dream taking the time, soaking it in. Again, Nigel, the point was made. Anything Ricochet can do, Velveteen Dream believes he can do it better. I think that's what Velveteen Dream is doing here. He's trying to match Ricochet for athletic ability. Velveteen Dream can't be too patient. He's got to continue to continue to punish Ricochet. Can't just wait around and be cocky. Oh, neck breaker. Dream into the cover. Hooks both legs. And Ricochet on it, too. Thus far, Percy, Dream has been cocky, and he's been very effective with it. Can't argue with results. Oh, and Ricochet now, trying to feed off the energy of the crowd here in Chicago. A side step. Oh. Side step Dream for a moment. What a back elbow from Ricochet. Ricochet has pushed, goes flying out of the ring. Velveteen going to try a high spot here, dive off the second rope into a front flip by the Dream. Takes out Ricochet on the floor. Velveteen keeps stealing Ricochet's moves. Is, is at some point Ricochet is going to get going. How long can Velveteen Dream keep the one and only ground? That is the question, but I mean, this is the smart thing to do about Velveteen Dream right now to keep the high flying down. Velveteen with a front face lock. Trying to put Ricochet to sleep. Trying to choke him out. Perhaps that stunned him. Charging in, Ricochet both feet up this time. 
Ricochet, they go for a dive or a flip. Dive through the under the top rope, takes out Velveteen. Another dive. Oh my God! Just flipped backwards over the top rope, landing on his feet. Took out the dream. I don't know what you call that, but when running and flipped over the top rope backwards, laying on his feet. 619 by Ricochet. Going for a springboard. Springboard elbow. Ricochet, that guy is one of the best, best high flyers I've seen. Valentin with a kick. Neck breaker by Ricochet. Shooting star. Ricochet up on the top, and he falls. Because Valvatine went up against the ropes. That's just the great thing of the presence of Velveteen. Certainly not the position Ricochet wants to be in at this moment. What is on the mind of the Velveteen Dream? Perhaps putting Ricochet away as soon as possible. You can see here, he got in the lion's share of the offense early in the match, and that expends a lot of energy. Guys, Velveteen Dream, certainly not going to like what he looks up. On the side. You can see his finisher, no. Oh, again, Ricochet wisely able to stay one step ahead of the Velveteen Dream. Ricochet knew what Dream had in store for him. Elected to jump to the outside and strike him. Both of them. Well, this is bad intention. Velveteen sitting on the turnbuckle has Ricochet up. Rolling Death Valley Driver. He's off the second rope, but still, damn impressive. Kick out. I forgot who I predicted. I really did. I'm going to go check. So, yeah, I got Velveteen Dream. I picked him to win. I really forgot. Velveteen up top. You know, flying elbow. No. Jumps on the apron. Ricochet knocks him down on the apron. Ricochet, what is he doing? Valentine Dream. Oh! Suplex off the apron. That had to hurt. 
Ricochet looks in a lot of pain. Velveteen Dream holding his head and neck. Ricochet was on the other side of the turnbuckles. Velveteen picked him up. Standing suplex falls to the floor with him. That was insane. Had to hurt like hell. They both get in before the 10 count, amazingly. How the hell did they get up? Oh, that had to hurt. Don't you, uh, you don't think that hurts? Why Why don't you pick up your friend and suplex him on a floor? And his mats are like tiny padding, a little bit of padding. These are not thick mats. They're both getting up, same time, holding on to each other. They're both on their feet. Rolling Death Valley driver. Cover by Valvatine. Two count. That was awesome. Picked him up. Super quick, super fast. Rolling Death Valley driver. Two count only. Valvatine's upset. Like, what is it going to take it in his face? He's saying, what is it going to take to win, to finish Ricochet, to defeat Ricochet? I'm sure Ricochet is thinking the same damn thing. What's it going to take to defeat Valvatine? Valvatine is uh, holding the ref. Punch by Ricochet. Punch by Valvatine. The balls barely standing. European uppercut by Ricochet. Kick by Valentin. Kick by Ricochet. Imagine the damage done to both after that massive suplex to the floor from Dream to Ricochet. This is the worst point in a match. There's almost nothing left in the tank. Oh. Ricochet. Gantry with a barrage of shots. Hey, Ricochet will fight today. There's nothing left. Rolling through. The T train. Looking for that DDT. Oh. Not able to connect. Roll through from the Northern Lights. And look at the suplex. Oh. But Ricochet's back game out. Too much damage done from that big suit. Oh. Oh. Super kick. Valvatine. Kick to the face by Ricochet. They're just both going back and forth. So many counters. One for one, and now Dream off the top gets caught. Clothesline the hell out of Valvatine. Turned him inside out. DDT on Ricochet. Valvatine just hit one of his finishers. Kick out. Hell of a man. I don't know if it's a match of the year, but it's been a hell of a match. Everybody standing. Standing ovation. Uh, NXT chains. The NXT universe on their feet, but the question is, which been on a pretty long match, over 20 players. minutes, hey guys, I don't know if you noticed, but or last maybe out. under 20 minutes.
Ricochet hits a rolling Death Valley driver using Velveteen's own move. Ricochet going up top. What's he going to do up there? I don't have a clue. The guy can do anything. He's the one and only. Flying elbow. Yes. Velveteen kicks out. I'm cheering for Velveteen because I predicted he would win. So I got to cheer for my pick. I still like Rick's shit. Alley, maybe what he's possibly setting up Velveteen Dream for now. Velveteen Let's laid see, out off the top. his bottom the leg the on the bottom row. Talk about impactful is Velveteen Dream. Maybe maybe Dream rolling, rolling, rolling out of the way. He rolls to the middle of the ring. He's in the middle of the ring. And Ricochet's still going to try to get on him. Oh, my God. Shooting star press. Velveteen got his knees up. Kick out. That was one of the farthest shooting star presses I've ever seen. Well, Velveteen going up top. And Ricochet is way across the ring. It's another side of the corner. Coast to coast. Elbow drop missed. Velveteen might have broke his shoulder. Broke his elbow or something. That was a mistake. By Velveteen going coast to coast with the elbow drop. Ricochet up top. we to go for his finisher. Oh. 6.30. It's over. Ricochet wins. Hell of a man. Both guys laid it all on the line. Gave it all they had. So many great spots in this match. And they stole each other's moves. They did try so many high spots. Trying a coast to coast elbow. So that was not good. Could have injured his shoulder. How in the hell does he do that? 6.30. I don't know how he can do that. If I tried that, I'd break my neck. Hell of a win. 
for Ricochet. I feel Rick, uh, Velveteen Dreamer, is always losing. Didn't he lose against Aleister Black at TakeOver War Games? I believe he did lose. And he lost the ladder match for the North American title. And I lost to Ricochet. Velveteen Dream loses too much. I'm happy Ricochet won. Guy's a great talent. Even though I predicted Velveteen. Anyways, this ends my reaction. Valentine Dream Ricochet was, it was really great. Bye for now.